Bring Tony Stoney! Oh, uh, Tony Stoney's your vice president. I see. Uh, sure. He can come along, strong man. Man! Tony Stoney's put on some pounds since he's been in office. Big line, country, once a proud land filled with proud person. This developing nation now waves a new flag, the strong Bedian empires. Their army taken over, their most endangered species driven to extinction. What can stop this red menace? Uh, menace. Red menace. Sorry, thought that was an Italian word. So, Dump Tenant, ready to be the battle's first casualty? You hush. I'm here to provide moral morale for the troops. Well, I guess you do make everyone else look leaner and meaner by comparison. From the country of country, a giant rock I've been impossibly keeping in my pants. Aha! The balance of power has shifted. Hey, Homestar! Another loyal subject of Homesapan! Aren't you tired of that the of town cramp in your style? Oh, you got that right! I don't like the way his castle sits up there, undressing me with its eyes! What are you gonna do when they invade? Invade Homesapan? Call the militia! This is not a drill, people! Do you even have a militia? Holy crap, we're defenseless! That settles it! I'm getting the band back together! I'm bringing back the Hobe Stormy! What was that? Uh, I said I'm bringing back the peaceful Home Japan Gentle Flower Planting Brigade deal. What do you need for the Home Stormy to help me take on the Of Town? We're gonna need soldiers! Lots of soldiers! Old Tofu and Sprouts over there will abolish the draft! And we lost too many good men in the last war. How many soldiers is lots of soldiers? Exactly five. How do you know you- The colonel knows these things. Why don't you reinstate the draft? That's a great idea. That's right, folks. Once again, it's time for the peace draft. Homestar, tell the crowd what fabulous prizes today's widow will walk home with. Well, Homestar, Grand Prize is an all-expenses-paid trip to the castle and a meeting with the King of Town. Homestar, are you building an army without my permission? Nothing, Marzipan. Just my regular old brand of nothing. Quick, just spin the wheel! And the lucky winner is Code Z! Really? I never won anything before in my life! Recruit, are you willing to put your life and some cool camos on the line to defend my country? I think they've all overbid! One dollar! One dollar! Close enough! Welcome to the home, Stormy Soldier! Homestar, I told you I don't like you having all your friends over to watch the game and plan paramilitary operations without asking me first. Oh, you granola bars are all the same, except for the ones with chocolate chips. You enjoy your freedom to not wash your hair and play hacky sack, but aren't willing to put an orange bowl on your head and wave a spoon around. Okay, that is it, Homestar. We are through. Good. Fine. Battle. Your side is East Mars' star, and my side is East Home's Japan. Midway along the border, we'll set up Checkpoint the Cheat. Why don't you just make your own country at your house? No way! There's a squirrel in the attic that I sometimes think is a spooky ghost. Whatever. All right, maggots. I take. I. You call this a home star me? Somebody's gonna have to whip these wastes of panty wastes into shape. Take it away, your dryness. Just let me know when you want to start attacking the castle. Do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir. Am I boring you, Private? I have something to share with the rest of the class? I'm the local Leroy. 
Do you want to die, soldier? Hmm, well... Shape up, Private! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> On to the castle! Death to the off town! Attack! Oh, oh, revelation! My dearest Marzipan, the siege on the castle continues. We are forever surrounded by the brown stench of war and the constant beige screaming. Always the beige screaming. We have suffered great losses. The cheat was the first to turn tail and join the enemy, quickly followed by the traitorous Coach Z, which incidentally is his new rap name. I've done things I'm not proud of. I can only dream of the day when this madness ends and I can return to your, ahem, arms once again. Your lovable cuddliness, Homestar Waddle. Don't be stupid, Homestar. Okay. The siege lasted five minutes and that was a week ago. It was like the King of Town wanted to give up. The Homestar we sure showed him a thing or twelve. Whatever. I just wanted to tell you again to pick up your stupid draft wheel from my house. I need the yard for my Down with the King rally. Now I'm going back down to protest you slash everything you stand for. Okay, Marzipan. Call me. Uh, how could I have known being King of Town would suck so many eggs? Right. How couldn't I have known? There, there, my liege. That emptiness you feel inside, I want you to take that and cram it full of chimichangas. The Of Town's household hint number 43. Keep a spare beard in your fridge's dairy section to take the edge off that late summer heat. What this creepy castle needs is a little mood lighting. Whoa, deja vu! That fish reminds me of something. That time we fit the cheat in Strong Mad's mouth? No, oh, that's not it. What does that thing remind me of? That summer we tried to convince ourselves that potatoes were... No, that's not it. Oh, now I remember what that thing reminds me of. Charles Darwin! Evolution guy and inventor of the fish skeleton, apparently. He'd make a great addition to my Teen Girl Squad comic. The Uptown shouldn't leave his lappy on. It'll burn the whole castle down. The Uptown must have put an emergency crown in here in case of a power outage. The Snacky 186? I've seen this piece of crap on late night infomercials. I never knew it was a computer. Sent email. Hey, Strong Bad was to tell us how the King Towns ever passed. And Roy T. Castle Hill? So it was all an elaborate ruse to trick you into taking over his empire. An elaborate ruse? Would you call it chicanery? I actually might, yes. Oh, that's it! I draw the line of chicanery! The of town? You're going of down! You can't mean! I'm getting the king of town out of my house and back on this energy star compliant throne! The OT's computer looks like it was designed for a mix between three-year-olds and train car hobos. Let's see if I can figure this thing out. Hmm, sent mail and templates. What? The king doesn't even type out his own emails. Talk about lazy. How am I supposed to pick items from a drop-down list with boxing gloves on? Typing I can handle. Don't ask me how. 